Sergey Kuzman defeats David Price on a fourth round retirement. Pricey pulling out with a torn right bicep. Now, Pricey fought hard from the opening bell in this fight. He was giving it everything he had. He was fighting with a man who had nothing to lose. And he was actually the best I've ever seen Pricey box for those first first few rounds. And the fight was really hotting up at the moment where Pricey pulled out. You know, at the start of, was it the start of the fifth? Was it the start of the fourth? I think it was the start of the fifth, wasn't it? Where Pricey pulled out. So the fight was really hotting up and it was looking like something dramatic was going to happen because there was a lot of big punches going in. Pricey landed some very nice shots on Kuzman that to me made Kuzman look uncomfortable in there. You know, but Kuzman was hanging tough. He was hitting Pricey with some nice body shots, but nothing particularly clean of Kuzman's was getting through to the head. And I do think Kuzman was frustrated. I do think Kuzman was a little anxious about the way the fight was going because Pricey, for my money, was outboxing Kuzman. And as I say, landing some nice punches and what have you. But he was tiring as the fight wore on. And as I say, at the end of the, was it the fourth or third, Pricey pulls out, which was unexpected because at the time, there wasn't anything obvious from what I saw watching it first time around live. There wasn't anything obvious to indicate that Pricey was injured, you know? Maybe he was just fighting through the pain, but he did eventually pull out. Now, I've seen people say David Price is a disgrace and uh, Price, he doesn't have any heart. He should have fought through it and all this kind of business. Even some fighters have been saying this and I have to disagree. The reason I disagree and the reason why I support David Price's decision to retire in this fight is because David Price is not making life-changing sums of money each time he fights. If he was to fight through that bicep injury against Kuzman, there was a very good chance that he was not only going to get knocked out cold or, you know, knocked out badly, but also suffer a long-term injury in his right arm, which would put him out for God knows how long, six months, a year. You understand it? And it still might be the case. And that's going to hit him in the pocket. This is not a guy who earned a million pounds or two million pounds from fighting Kuzman. Yeah, if you were fighting in a world title fight, for example, and you were 25 years old, I mean, even if you weren't going to, if you, even if you weren't earning a million for a world title fight at 25 years old, in that situation, you might still expect the guy to push through even with an injured bicep because it's his big chance at glory is his big chance at a big time right and he's young enough that even if he's out for a year with a bicep injury he can come back but David Price is 35 years old he's been knocked out a bunch of times he's lost numerous fights so in the back of his head he's thinking man if I get knocked out it's one thing but if I get knocked out and I suffer a long-term bicep injury that puts me out for a year that's even worse. That's really going to hit me in the pocket. And so the other fight, the fighters who have been criticizing Pricey uh, for pulling out of the fight, that's what they're not taking into account, I think, is the fact that they're in a position. I think Dylan White might have criticized Pricey for pulling out, but Dylan White is a guy who's earning a hell of a lot of money now. And obviously Dylan White wasn't earning a lot of money when he fought Joshua, but that was his big opportunity. Even though it wasn't a world title fight, it was his coming out party, so to speak, you know? That was Dylan White's entrance onto the big stage. So yeah, he fought through injuries and whatnot, but it was worth it. I mean, look at how Dylan, how much Dylan White's profile grew after the Joshua fight, you know, because he was still young enough to recover from the injury and have time to have a career and all that kind of thing. But when you're 35 and you've been knocked out a bunch of times and there's a good chance you're going to get knocked out again in this fight, and you're going to be out the ring with a long-term injury. And you're not earning much money in your career. Do you understand what I'm saying? I can't blame Pricey for going out the way that he did. It's not like he has a history of quitting. He doesn't. In all his other fights that he's lost, he didn't quit. <laughs> he went out in his shield and got flattened like he did against Povetkin. So I think people are being harsh on Pricey for pulling out. I, I think he did the right thing. He has to think about his finances at the end of the day. How much money he can still make in boxing. And I think he put in a, a, a gallant performance. You know, he did say actually in the post-fight 
interview that he'd injured his right bicep in training, but he had to take the fight because it was too good an opportunity to pass up, you know, so he had to take the fight. Um, so, yeah, it, it seemed to be something which had flared up from training, which is why he was so sure that it was what it was, you know, a torn bicep. So, again, I think people have been harsh on Pricey. I think he did the right thing. And, you know, I wish him luck, man. That's all I can say because he fought his heart out in there up until the moment that he had to pull out. He did his thing. He tried his best. He really went, he was really loading up in one of the rounds and trying to take Kuzman out. I mean, that's one of the most impressive attacks I've ever seen from Pricey. And you got to give Kuzman credit for being able to come through all that because <laughs> that was some pretty heavy artillery that Pricey was unloading on him. <laughs> oh, Pricey. He is one of my favorite fighters, David Price. So, you know, because of the fact that he brings entertainment. Anyone who brings entertainment like a David Price, how can I not enjoy watching him fight? How can I not look forward to seeing the guy step in the ring again? He's in entertainment every time. Same like Amir Khan. You know? Khan is just entertainment in and out of the ring all the time. <laughs> I'm not saying these are the best fighters. They're not. Pricey and Khan, these are not the, the best fighters you've ever seen. But I want to be entertained and they entertain me. And as I've said many times, there is entertainment to be found at all levels in boxing. There are certain characters at different levels in boxing. They might not be world champions, might not even, even be British champions, but somehow, some way they're entertaining. And David Price is definitely one of those. So I don't know where he goes from here. If he's going to retire, uh, he might maybe out for a while with that injury. We'll see. But uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. David Price, what should he do next? Where should he go from here? And maybe you disagree with me. Maybe you think that was a cowardly act from David Price to retire the way that he did, to uh, you know pull out the fight the way he did. Whatever the case may be, let me know in the comments. All right, I'm out.